Someone decided this depiction of Christ's death needed a little sprucing up. It's amazing how the beliefs of disparate cultures can become intertwined over time. the next cross. There's an inscription. Look through me to find the way. See another. The ink is badly faded. It's difficult to make anything out. Savage, outrageous, betrayal. And this isn't parchment paper. It's thicker. Animal hide or human. Here's the next cross. Like there's something here. Wait, I can push this.
Hello? When I first laid eyes on Angel de la Cruz, I knew I met a man of worth. When he spoke, my heart shook. Its tremors vibrated for days after his first sermon. That evening, God himself told me to set out to prove I was the chosen one. I left the next morning, seeking to prove my worth. Isabella, are you in here? Isabella! Isabella, are you in here? Isabella! There you are. Yes. Who are you? Guillermo sent me to find you. He's worried about you. <sighs> Poor Guillermo. He's probably killing himself with guilt, too. <laughs> I guess we were both right. There was a hidden crypt, and I did have an idealized view of what it would be like. How did you injure yourself? I was on a rope when the tremor hit. The shaking threw me into the walls, the rope snapped, and I hit the water badly. I think my ankle's broken. In order to get you out, I'll have to go back for help. It will take several people. <laughs> What's so funny? Can one of those people be Sarah? I'd love to see the look on her face when she has to admit that one of Manu's fantastic stories turned out to be true. I'll suggest it to Guillermo. Now, I don't think I can get out the way I came in, so I'm gonna have to look for another way out. I'll be right back. And I'll be right here.
always been grateful for my vivid imagination, except for right now. I can't wait to get out of here. Huaskar's knowledge of the two afterlives be sufficient to guide us, if we arrive in either. I was not worthy. Forgive me for my hub... me, don't worry. I have returned from my training, however, Brother de la Cruz has disappeared. The sisters of the mission have no idea where he went. No matter. I will wait for him to return. My heart is pure. My head is clear. I am ready for the trials, and I will prove to him I am the chosen one. I must be on the right path. The air is getting fresher. Don't tease me. I spent the night in a crypt. Wheellock pistol, never mass produced and banned in the Holy Roman Empire. Ostentatiously decorated, a bit much for a missionary, but maybe a fitting weapon for an egoist such as Lopez. There's some damage to the pommel, but otherwise the weapon seems in fine condition.
In preparation for the ultimate test, I have begun to explore the crypts and tombs found near the mission. They are challenging and dangerous, and I am slowly improving. My reflexes are quicker, I'm getting stronger, and I dare say my eyesight in the dark is improving. I know there are others trying to prove their worth to Brother De La Cruz. Don't worry. I must be on the right path. The air is getting fresher. Don't tease me. I spent the night in a crypt. I know now that I am not the chosen one. Now I fear I have endangered the lives of Brother de la Cruz and the sisters of the mission. They do not know that the hollow earth surrounding the mission is home to demons. Cruel, hissing creatures with twisted claws and sick yellowed eyes. I came to this place to purge them from the world in the name of Angel de la Cruz to win his favor and earn my seat at his side. But I have failed. I could not contain this evil. 
and now it is out, and all warning of it will die down here with me. Daylight. You'll be out of here in no time. Please tell me Isabella's okay. She is, but she's hurt her ankle, so we'll have to go back and get her. No, I could not stand to inconvenience you any further. And besides, Sarah tells me you have something important of your own to do. Please, let Isa's friends take care of her from here. You'll need a couple of people and a lot of rope to get her out. I'll round them up right away. Where is she exactly? Take the main road across the river, then follow the crosses. Wait, the crosses? Did she find something? She found the crypt Manu told her about. She did? That's wonderful. Oh, I, I'm so happy for her. I should have gone with her, and I feel terrible about her ankle. But despite that, this is the adventure Isa's always dreamed of. She also suggested that maybe Sarah could be a member of her rescue party. Oh, that's a great idea. I'll make sure of it. And speaking of Manu and his crazy stories, if you're looking for something hidden around here, you should probably talk to him. It worked for Isa. He's usually hoarding coal around the mission. And thank you again for finding Isabella. I don't know what I would have done if... Just make sure she gets back safe. Manu. Who's that? Who's there? She's the one who found the treasure. Is that right, Diego? Well, well, what can I do for you? I overheard you telling the children about Maya ruins. Finally, someone who pays attention. Well, you were right about the crosses. Isabella followed them to a hidden crypt. Ha! I knew it, I knew it. No one ever listens to old Manu, but I was right. <sighs> so you were. And I bet you're telling the truth about those Maya ruins. I recognize something in your voice. The thrill of discovery, of finding something, some place unseen for hundreds or 
even thousands of years. There is something thrilling about that, isn't there? There's no feeling like it. The taste of stale, dusty air still gets my heart racing. These modern people, these so-called realists, they close themselves off from such wondrous possibilities. They can't even imagine some of the things I've seen. Ah, that I would give anything to see again one last time. Perhaps I could be your eyes, your witness of those Maya ruins. You could at that, yes. Do you remember where the ruins were? Now, where were they? I remember a pool fed by three waterfalls. Uh, I wish I could give you better directions, but it's been so many years. I should be able to find it. And when I do, I'll come back and tell you all about it. Oh, if you could do that for me. Touch that, that history. I would... I would be so... Say no more, Manu. I'll find it. Hello? Lara, thank you so much for finding Isabella. Oh, it was my pleasure. She was right. There was a hidden crypt there. I know. She was right. So was Manu. When she's feeling better, we will go excavate the ruin. All together.
all full up. Can't carry any more.
St. John was the last of Jesus' apostles to die, and the only one whose life didn't end in martyrdom or suicide. As a writer of five books of the New Testament, he's the patron saint of theologians and scholars. Because of his long life, he was able to take on several students who continued his teachings after he died, establishing a line of religious study that remains unbroken to this day. Rumors have long persisted of monsters, for lack of a better term, in the area surrounding the mission of St. John. The locals refuse to discuss these sightings. They grow sullen when they are mentioned and usually scurry off and hide in their homes. However, it is my fervent belief, once we have converted the populace, they will see these monsters as nothing but superstitions, shadows that disappear in the Lord's... These are two legendary trees which complement one another. The Chechen tree secretes a substance which is poisonous upon contact, and the nectar of the Chaka tree can neutralize that poison before it results in serious burns. The fascinating thing about these trees is that they always grow very near to each other. According to legend, two brothers, warrior princes, fought a battle to the death over the love of a woman and died in each other's arms. They begged the gods for forgiveness.
Sounds like trouble. Ugh, smells like rotten eggs. Sulfur. destroy that barricade. The Yashiel are here as well. Mm -hmm. 
to get on that platform. to create an explosion. Have to create an explosion. Have to create an explosion. to create an explosion. <sighs> Have to create an explosion. <sighs> <sighs> 